You all know this fun Caribbean sounding tune, right? What gives it the specifically Caribbean sound? No, it's not the seashells. It's a unique instrument called a steel drum or steel pan. The history of this instrument is as special as the sound it makes. It originates in the beautiful Caribbean island of Trinidad during the colonial era. When the British Empire enslaved African peoples onto the sugar, coffee and cocoa plantations of the West Indies, they tried to disenfranchise these people from all of their African traditions, including the playing of their musical instruments. Yet amazingly, the enslaved Africans were able to keep their hand drumming traditions. But after the end of the slave trade in 1834, when the people of Trinidad were celebrating and playing music in annual festivals, the British government felt threatened by the public display of hand drumming and banned its practice. The resourceful Africans harvested the bamboo, which grew abundantly on the island, cut it into various lengths, hollowed it out, and created tambu bamboo bands by striking the bamboo on the ground. In 1883, the Brits once again forbade the locals from using percussion instruments, including tambu bamboo, as they feared the bamboo poles could be used as weapons. Despite this limitation, the people found an amazing solution. By using dustbin lids, old pans, and discarded 55-gallon oil barrels, they made a completely new instrument, the steel drum. This ingenious instrument gave the locals an opportunity to express themselves freely using accessible everyday materials. But how did the humble steel drum become what it is today? Stay tuned for the next video to learn more.